Hi thinkers, welcome to the data structures in Java course on Thinkx Academy. Uh, this is lecture 5.2 and in this lecture we are going to start with queues data structure in Java and uh, in 5.1 we have already seen how to implement queue using arrays and in this tutorial we are going to focus on how to implement the queues data structure uh, using the linked list, right? So linked list offers us some very important advantages over arrays. So we are going to take a look at how uh, to perform important operations like NQ and DQ in uh, queue data structure, right? And we will write the Java program also and we will see step by step how uh, these operations are being performed. So uh, the first thing is, uh, the first requirement is that you should know about linked list and we already have a tutorial on linked list on the, in this Java playlist. So you can see that in the description of this video also, right? So uh, linked list is actually a node, uh, you, is a bunch of nodes which are connected to each other using uh, the next pointers and we already know that. And we know that the first uh, position or the first node is actually referenced by head. So uh, queue data structure that we are going to implement in this is essentially a linked list only, but it has restrictions over insertion and deletion. So uh, first of all, uh, when we consider linked list, let's see what are the advantages. The first advantage is that we do not require continuous memory. And the second uh, uh, important advantage is that we have the ability to extend the size of this linked list to any number of nodes that we want. But in case of arrays, we had a very fixed size, right? So this is an important advantage. Uh, so let's move on to the next thing, which is the actual operations that we need to perform. So the first operation which we are going to perform is the NQ operation. Right, so NQ operation is actually insertion inside of a queue. So we know that a queue has a very simple behavior that in NQ we are going to uh, append or insert at the end of the queue, so insert at end. And the reason why we have this behavior is because let's suppose we have a, a ticket counter. This is a great example to understand the queue data structure. And let's say there are some people over here which actually wants to uh, buy some tickets from this ticket counter and they're forming a queue here. So if any person wants to come inside the queue and he wants to become the part of the queue, uh, he can only uh, get inserted at the end, right? Otherwise, it will be a violation. And similarly, once a person has taken a ticket, uh, he will be at the front position. So he will get removed from the queue, right? So NQ is performed at uh, the end, whereas DQ operation, so I'm going to write here DQ operation, which is actually deletion is performed at the front of the queue, right? So deletion at front. So obviously, if we want to perform insertion and deletion at different ends, and we have this, let's say we are given this linked list. So we need uh, to maintain two pointers. One will be the front pointer, which will be pointing to the first element of the linked list. And then we will have the second pointer, which will be pointing at the uh, last node of the linked list, right? So we will, uh, we will need that. So first thing first, we can see that in this data structure, we have a very fundamental unit, which we will call as a node. And this node has two things. One is the data and the second is the next pointer. So when, uh, then we will create a class queue and we, we can keep creating the object of this fundamental node class. So let's say that this is actually my class node, right? This is my class node and this will be my class queue, right? I will call that this is my class queue. And so whenever I want to insert a node, I will create an object of this node class and I can insert it here. And our queue class will have a constructor which will initialize both uh, front and rear. So initially we know that, so I'm going to write here, initially our queue will be empty right? So front and rear both are going to point to null, right? So this will be my queue initially. So if I want to enqueue any particular element, I will first create an object of this node class, which will allocate the data and will create the next pointer. And what I will do is uh, I will change this front and rear to point to that element. So we will have a base case here, which is initially when we have uh, the linked list as empty. So we will have a base case that in this case, when the Q is empty, we are going to make sure that front and rear both are pointing to the new node that we are going to insert. So let's say now I do not want to uh, point them to null. So in the first one, uh, let's say I want to insert one to this Q. So I will insert one to the Q like this, and this is actually going to point to null. So um, we have front and rear both pointing to the first position. So this will be our very important base case. And now whenever we want to add any element, we will have to make sure that we change this rear position which is this rare reference. We need to reassign it to the next element that will be inside, uh, inserted inside of this queue. So before moving on to the program of this NQ and DQ operation, let's first do these things, which is creating the class node and creating the class queue uh, with the front and rear, right? So here uh, I'm just going to open the compiler and here now I'm going to create a class node, a very simple class. Right, so we'll create a class node which will have uh, a constructor and it will be a parameterized constructor. So our class will have the data and it will also have a pointer to the, uh, which is the next pointer. 
right so now what i will do is i will create a constructor of this class so the constructor will look something like this and since it is going to take the data uh, we need to pass the data to it so this is essentially a parameterized constructor and now what i will do is i will use this dot data so this will be a reference to the object of the node class so the data of that object will be equal to data and the next of this object will be initially pointing to null right so every data which is a fundamental node will have the data and its next will be pointing to null so we need to uh, make sure that we reassign these position and place them inside a class queue so i'm going to now create a class queue here quickly right so our class queue will have two very important uh, references which will be a reference to the node so i'm going to create two references front and rear right so now i have two references to the node class now what i need to do is i need to create a constructor of this queue class and this will uh, uh, this will not take anything so this will be a default constructor and here i will assign front and rear both as null because we know that initially our link our this uh, queue will be null right so both uh, front and rear are pointing to null right so this is an important thing now we need to move to the next very important uh, step which is to perform nq operation which is insert at rear end right so i will just create a simple nq function right and this nq function will take the data uh, will take the item that we wish to insert inside of the queue so now what i will do is we know that if we want to insert any element first we need to uh, allocate it using the node class so i will just create a node which is the uh, let's say it will be a temporary node that we wish to insert in our queue and we will use the new operator to create this object and here we will pass the item to it right now we need to take care of the base case which we talked about here you can see the base case is when the uh, initially when our link list is empty so when we want to insert first element both front and rear will be pointing to that right so now what i will do is here i will take care of that base case that if our queue is empty right so if our queue is empty i'm going to insert my new node new node will be inserted and basically front and rear both are going to point to that node so here i'm just going to write this base case that if so we need to check whether uh, our uh, queue is empty and the way to do is is very simple i will just check if this dot rear right so if this dot rear is equal to null it means that uh, the queue is actually empty in our case so what will i do is i will assign uh, this dot front and this dot rear right both will be assigned to our node temp right which is the node that we, we wish to insert and you can see that we have allocated here on this line right so you can see this line here in this line we are creating the node and in this line we are assigning front and rear to the uh, temporary node so we have now handled our uh, simple case now uh, we know that we need to perform insertion at the rear end uh, let's see how we can do that so let's say now I want to insert two inside of this link list, uh, which is actually a queue. So initially it was one and here it was pointing to null. And now we have front and rear and both are pointing to this node, right? So now let's say I want to insert two. So to insert two inside of this link list, I first have to allocate it. So the temporary node will be actually here, right? So temp is actually going to be two and its next pointer will be null. Now I wish to insert it inside of this queue. This is my queue, right? So how am I going to do that? So you can see I'm going to use the rear end because we wish to insert at the rear end. So I will say that the next of this rear end, right, which is this pointer right here. So we need to reassign this pointer to not point to null, but point to this temporary node, right? So the way to do is very simple. We will write the line this dot rear, which is the rear position dot next, right? So this dot rear is pointing to one. You can see rear is pointing to one. We don't, uh, no, we, we are not going to reassign this rear first. First, we will assign this next pointer, right? So this dot rear is pointing to one. The next of this one will be assigned to temp, right? We need to reassign it to temp. So after this line, what will happen is this link will get reassigned, right? It will get reassigned to our temporary node, which is two, right? So we have successfully inserted the element inside the queue, but you can see here that this rear is actually pointing to one so we need to reassign it to point to here and we know that temp was actually pointing to this node so we need to make sure that rear is also getting reassigned when we are inserting element so we are going to say that this dot rear right so this dot rear needs to be assigned to temp so these are two important lines and you need to make sure that you uh, have them in the right order so first we are going to perform this operation and then second we are going to perform this one right so now let's just try to uh, add this one here these two lines here so the first line is 
very simple this dot ref dot next will be equal to the temporary node and this dot rare so now rare is actually going to point to temp right so these are the two lines that will do the that, that will perform the enqueue operation now let's move on to the next important step which is how to perform deletion at the front and deletion is actually a bit uh, tricky in this linked list so deletion at the start right so uh, when i dequeue any element i will uh, i i just need to call this dequeue function and it will not take anything here all right so uh, in case of dequeue we need to write a base case so if uh, our queue is already empty we cannot perform dequeue we cannot uh, delete any element so uh, what i need to do here is i need to write a base case which is if the queue is empty right so what i'm going to do in that case is uh, how can i check whether the queue is empty by using the front pointer right so i can just say if this dot front is equals to equals to null right it means that my queue is empty and in that case i'm just going to uh, return from this part here right so i'm returned from this function if that is the case uh, now let's see uh, how we can dequeue the element from our uh, queue so let's say we have this linked list here and we have front which is pointing to one then we have second and then we have null so we know that rear is actually pointing here right so what are the operations uh, that we are going to perform to delete so we know that deletion or the dq operation will delete this element one from uh, this linked list so how am i going to delete that now it is very easy what i'm just going to do is uh, i will first have to make sure that uh, I, I need to actually delete this reference here which you can see here this reference is what i need to remove right that is the first thing i want to do which is remove this reference this is the first task I need to do. The second task I need to do is make sure that front will point to two here, right? So this front should be re-initialized uh, to two here, right? Now this is a very important step because we need to perform that in order, right? So, so what will be the order? So you can see that if I will remove this link, I will lose the link to this two node. So I will not be able to reassign front to two, right? So what I need to do is I need to create a reference which will be a temporary reference. And this temporary reference is going to point to our node 2 right so once we have that we can uh, easily safely we can remove this link and what i can do is after that i will just assign this front to this temporary node right so we need to maintain a temporary reference to this node 2 else we are going to lose the reference to this one and we will not be able to access to in any case right so let's see how we can do that here inside here we uh, i'm just going to create a temporary reference to the node so uh, i will mark it as a temporary node and this will be actually pointing to this dot front so uh, dot next right so you can see that we have uh, this dot front dot next so you can see that this dot front right so this dot front is actually pointing to one right and we have two here so we want to uh, we want to have a reference temp which will point to two right so this dot front dot next is actually going to point to two right so now our temporary node is going to point to two let's perform this step here right so here you can see i have already performed this step which is temp is now actually pointing to this next node right now what i can easily do is i need to remove the reference so i will say that this dot front right will be dot next is equal to null right so what will happen is after this line the next of this will get removed and it will now point to null right so i'm going to remove this one here and now you can see that I have two here and this the next of this is now going to point to null right so now once I have done that I need to reassign front to point to temp and I can do that very easily right which will be a third step which will be that this dot front will be now pointing to the temporary reference that we created right so in this way uh, we will be able to perform the uh, insertion uh, and deletion inside of a queue now uh, there is one important thing that we uh, need to perform that uh, what will happen if i uh, point this uh, this dot front is actually pointing to null so i will have to handle that case also that if what will happen if front becomes null right so what will happen if we have only one element here right which is one is pointing to null and front and rear are both pointing to this one so if i want to perform dq operation you can see that a uh, temp will be pointing to this dot front dot next so which is actually null so temp is pointing to null and you can see that uh, this will be removed this pointer will now point to null position according to our code 
So now we also need to make sure that this front uh, uh, will now point to temp which is null. So if front becomes null it means we have an empty linked list. So in that case we are going to assign front and rear uh, both as null right. So front will get assigned to null but rear is still pointing to 1. So we need to make sure that rear also points to the null. So let's uh, handle that simple case now. So this is a very important case in case of just one element. So uh, we need to take care of all these steps right. So here uh, I'm going to write on this line here if this dot front is actually pointing to null right if that is the case i'm going to make sure that the rear is also point also points to null right so this is a very important condition that we need to do now simply what i can do is uh, here in the main function uh, to create to make this queue we will create a queue using the new operator like this and here i can just make a call to the uh, nq function right so i can nq let's say one then I can enqueue more elements like I can enqueue two, right? Then I can perform a DQ operation and then I can again perform an enqueue operation, which is three. So finally, my uh, uh, my queue will look like uh, uh, first we have one and two. So one is inserted, then two is inserted. And finally, one will get removed because of the call of this DQ function, which is right here. And then we will again enqueue three, right? So in order to see this, uh, uh, the contents of this linked list, we need to make a call to the display function which will display this whole uh, status of this linked list right so the way i'm going to do that is very simple i will just call this display function and let's write this display function so it will start with a very simple pointer so i will first create a temporary pointer which is pointing to the front position right so this dot front and now what i will just do is uh, i will create a while loop that goes from temp right so uh, while temp dot next is not equal to null Right. If that is the case, we are just going to display the value here. So I'm going to just write system dot out dot print length and I'm going to print the status of the queue. Sorry, the data of this temporary node. So temp dot data and I will reassign temp to point to temp equals to temp dot next. Right. So at every point, this temporary pointer will point to next. So uh, while writing this uh, case here, you can see in the while case, I'll say while temp dot next uh, is not equal to null, we are going to perform this. Or we can say that while uh, the temp dot next does not be uh, become equal to uh, or uh, uh, this dot rear does not become uh, equal to null. So we can also write that case also. So uh, this is how our program is going to look like. So let's just run this program to see what will be the output. OK, so we have some errors here. So instead of Q, right, I can just write uh, this object will be Q only. And let's run this again. Okay, so you can see that we have two here, two is printing. So here uh, two is printing, but you can see that three is not printing. We have NQ3, but uh, it was, uh, it is not printing that. So the reason is this while case here, right? So we need to check what this case is doing. So we need to make sure that temp uh, dot next, right? Instead of writing temp dot next, I will write here while temp is not equal to null, right? So this should be uh, temp not equal to null. So here uh, I will write temp not equal to null and run this again. And now you can see that we have the required queue which is 2 and 3 is displaying. So this is how our whole queue will look like and I will drop this whole program on our website www.thinkxacademy.com uh, in the data structures in Java course. Uh, you can find this 5.2 lecture and you can find the whole code inside there and you can uh, run it yourself right. So uh, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.